when uh, people see the psychic side. When we say psychic side, that is the side beyond the physical, not the spirit itself, but what is beyond the physical, which is cast around you like this. This mini universe. Your body. Yes. The mini universe, if, you, if it's studied properly, you will understand the universe. They look out there so much and they come across things like black hole. And the black hole is something, it's a mystery. They're trying to study it and know what it is all about. But this universe, there's a black hole in it. This is mini universe, there's a black hole in it. Anyone who really understands the whole universe is somebody who has understood himself. What? himself. Right, hi, welcome to John Cosmic Foundation and uh, on this channel we are into awakening. Uh, we help you reach the source as fast as you can. And today we are discussing the energy centers. Um, Dr. John is always talking about the seven energy centers, and most of us don't understand it. Uh, we've also had comments from uh, most of our viewers that uh, we should discuss this topic of energy centers. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning. I guess you are okay. I'm okay. Yeah. Um, what is it about the, uh, these energy centers? Um, can you give us a little background history uh, about it? What is, when we talk about energy centers, what does it mean? Mm. Yes. Most of the time, we call this body microcosm. Microcosm. Micro means small. Okay, something small. Yes. And cosm means uh, cosmic. So, or the cosmos, the universe. So, the bigger so universe. The body is the small universe. Universe. Okay. The bigger one, we normally call that macrocosm. Macrocosm. Macro. That Which means is very bigger. big. Universe and the micro is the small universe. Okay, so the very same way you look at the universe from this earth, you look and you see the sun, you see the moon, you see other planets, uh, we see Mars, Mercury, Venus. And, and so on and so on, you know, uh, Pluto, Jupiter, Neptune, Saturn, mm -hmm. different, different, different. Uh, they are all positioned in the um, atmosphere. So if we are like the universe and everything inside the universe, we have some also inside our bodies. And uh, therefore, we have even a sun inside our body. Wow. Yes. <laughs> then we have the other planets. They are also inside our bodies because we are micro and the other one is macro. Okay. okay. See? So, um, it's interesting that one center here is called solar center. Solar plexus center. Solar, that is the sun. The sun. Okay. Why? Because its behavior, everything is just like the sun. Mm -hmm. It's pressed uh, so much energy, and when the frequency of the wavelength of that uh, uh, energy shooting from the solar plexus is uh, checked, it is similar to that of the yes. sun. And that is why the, it is called solar, uh, solar center okay. or solar plexus center. The 
Others, they also stand for various uh, centers as we see them in this. In the bigger universe. Un bigger universe. Okay. Okay. You see. For example, the heart is associated with love. And so it is the planet called Venus is associated with love. Wow. You see? <laughs> so all these things, we have them uh, in the universe, we have them here. And you see how scientists, they are struggling to study the universe so much. Uh, beloved brothers and sisters, you can actually study properly this, this mini universe. Your body. Yes, the mini universe. If, you, if it's studied properly, we will understand the universe. <laughs> this is a great secret. If you're able to study our body properly, we will understand everything. The, everything in the, in the universe. You see, let me give you an example. You say it's a... Uh, you see, I, I want to always uh, uh, go a little deeper to give something that people are not aware of. Even the scientists, they don't know this, I'm going to tell you. They look out there so much and they come across things like black hole. And the black hole is something, it's a mystery. They're trying to study it and know what it is all about. But this universe, there is a black hole in it. This, this mini universe, there is a black hole in it. But they don't know. You see? And if you know it from here, it makes it easier to understand what is outside there. But the, all the attention of the human is outside himself or herself. And... Uh, that is our problem that uh, humans are having. But anyone who really understands the whole universe is somebody who has understood what himself. himself and what is here right now, you see. Yes, so there are centers in the body and uh, we have plenty of them, just as the greater universe, we have plenty uh, things, the galaxies and this and that, so many things. So the same way we have plenty here, but we are concerned with major ones at okay. the moment, but there are plenty. plenty. So we have, let's say, major and minor ones. Yes. But let's deal with the major ones. How many do we have? Yeah, the major we are interested in at this stage, especially when people talk about centers in the body, they only refer mainly to seven centers. Okay. The seven centers, one is at the base of the spine, just uh, okay. at the buttocks. Uh, you know. The next one is at the genital section. Then the next one, which is the solar center, mm. That then is what the you just talk about. The yes, sun. yes. Mm -hmm. In fact, there is a powerful center, okay. really. I will come back to it. You know. Then you come to the heart center, then to the throat center as the fifth. Then the sixth one is here, and the seventh one mm -hmm. is on top of the head. Mm -hmm. So these are the seven major. But it doesn't mean these are the seven only. No, they are the major. We have other centers. Other centers. If I heard you right, the first one is at the base of the spine. Yes. Then the next one is at the sex area. Yeah. Then uh, the heart, uh, the, 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 the solar. The solar. Before center. you come to the heart. The heart. The truth. The truth. Uh, this one. The forehead. This the is what is usually eye, referred eyebrow. to as third yeah. eye. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the one here, okay, okay. I understand uh, there are some colors associated with it. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Can you briefly give us the colors associated sure, with it? Sure, sure. How these 
these centers function. Mm. Since we have seven principal colors um, of the rainbow, you can see the same colors forming the rainbow. And uh, the lowest one is red, and it is at the spine center. Okay. Then followed by orange color, that is at the genitals up here. Then we come to yellow. Yellow is the solar, the solar center. And uh, uh, when we talk of colors associated with the centers, what it means is the, the power radiating, coming, shining from the center has the same frequency as that color. Because color is a kind of uh, frequency, wavelength, you see, it has a particular frequency. So uh, higher than that is the green, and it is the heart side. Then from there, blue. From there, indigo. Then from here, there we come to the last one, violet. violet. So when you look at the rainbow, that is how the colors are arranged. The same way. The same way. So, but before you continue with the functions, apart mm -hmm. from the colors, yeah. um, can we associate it with uh, some other different things? Because I know um, I've been following your teachings for a very long time mm -hmm. on YouTube and other platforms. Mm -hmm. And uh, you usually, uh, you know, relate everything uh, with things around us. Mm -hmm. uh, and it makes meaning, it makes me understand the concept of what you are talking about. And I don't know, apart from the colors, maybe can we relate it to, um, let's say, the days of the week or maybe other and that things that are sound, we also have some certain things, or? Sure. There are many connections, see. Just as we have the sound, various sounds, there are also seven in number, like do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. do. You see? So all these things, they also correspond with our centers in the body. So anything which is seven is also great, uh, I mean connected, because this is seven, something else is seven, something else is seven, so it always goes, um, it has some kind of rapport with uh, things of the same uh, seven. So um, if we want to talk about that, because things that are seven, seven, seven are plenty. <laughs> but virtually you can relate them to me. Yeah, they are all related them. like this. Okay. And um, when it comes to the functions, it is also seven functions. You see, the lowest one, um, which is uh, the, the spine, the, uh, the lower spine, lowest part of the spine. Sorry. Um, normally we call it the basic uh, center because it's where things begin. Yeah. And that one is uh, more connected to the earth because as a human being, when you stand erect, then it is the nearest major center to the earth. Okay. So the worldly uh, situation is connected, it roots us to the world, okay. you see. So it is for survival, mm -hmm. survival in the worldly situation. And um, in fact, you see that the color of our blood is red? Yes. So it is that center which rules the blood, you see. Um, nothing is accident. It's just uh, nature giving the right frequency for certain things. And uh, I uh, want you to know that each of these centers has 
a function is really very important. So um, it is also there for prosperity. The, the base of the, the spine. Base, yeah, because see, for your survival, uh, you need to prosper to ensure your survival. That is why people chase prosperity, mm. you see. And therefore, um, that center must shine, must, uh, must um, vibrate more, you see. It should be activated. Uh, so persons who are prosperous, the red color is around their base here. And it is very prominent. Every wealthy, rich person has very bright red. Uh, the basic color down here is shining. I don't know. That is, is that the reason why in our language we say Sika Yemuja? <laughs> <laughs> because of the color red. And you also said uh, it's, it's for blood. Yeah. The point is, when they say Sika Yemoja, that means uh, blood, uh, money is uh, to be equated to blood, blood. because of uh, how precious. It is. Okay. Blood is very precious because it distributes. In fact, your survival things are all carried around by the blood. The nutrients you get from food, um, what you get from the air you breathe, everything goes into the blood, then the blood will distribute it. So uh, money is also being distributed and it makes uh, people feel good that they have it. You know, the same way blood circulates and then it makes you feel good because it gives you all the nutrients, the various parts of the body needs. So in every situation, society, when there is uh, prosperity, there is circulation of money, reaching people here and there. So that is why they say Zika Emoja. <laughs> so the basic uh, one is for survival. Yeah. And how about the next one? Uh, yeah, the, the next center. one is for pleasure. So it's the pleasure center, the genitals area. And um, every uh, center, when it uh, functions very well, it gives you a sense of fulfillment. Um, it gives you good feelings. But the second one gives uh, more pronounced uh, uh, pleasure, you see. Whilst all of them give some kind of pleasure, this one gives, it's like specialized for pleasure giving. You see, that is the second center. And of course, uh, you know it that uh, it powers and our genitals and all those things so that uh, procreation goes on. It gives all the feelings and uh, therefore we call it the pleasure center. center. Yeah. Then we come to the next center, the sun, the solar. The solar center, very powerful. And even uh, its uh, purpose, what it does, tells you it is very powerful. And the word is willpower. <laughs> willpower. Willpower. So if the center here is weak. That person cannot express willpower very much. It's dominated by the lower mind and everything worldly. You know, it's, uh, the person is not able to really focus. See? But the uh, willpower makes you uh, more determined. Uh, um, it gives you um, a sense of passion to follow things, to do things, to achieve, you see. So that is that center. Okay. 
Um, but there are more things to say about these things, you see. No, but Let me give you have a lot of time. Lot so of you, time. you just give us so, your example uh, you wanted to uh, give before we continue. Yes. Sometimes um, this big center, powerful center, it spreads its energy throughout so that anywhere there is shortage in any of the other centers, it tries to pick it up to activate it especially those which are nearer. So uh, the pleasure center, for example, when people reach a certain age, not even age, the youth, they are also having problem with the pleasure center. And uh, sometimes it's weakened because it's becoming dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. And uh, then they resort to aphrodisiac and this and that and that. They try to revive, but they don't know the secret. The real secret is to activate the solar center. The solar center will push, spread energy onto uh, the second center and keep it activated. And that is the most natural uh, thing to do, but not to be taken all those kind of things. So it shines like the sun. Like the sun. The sun is shining for everybody. Exactly. And well, I'm, now be, I'm now understanding, understanding your concept. Which yeah, that's right. that's right. All right, so the next center. Then the heart center. The heart center stands for love. And everybody knows that one. <laughs> <laughs> When people are in love, they say, in my heart, I love <laughs> <laughs> From the bottom of my heart. From... <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So the heart center is responsible for love. And not only love, but uh, all the uh, gentle emotions, kindness, and um, a whole lot. You know. Okay. Uh, uh, it makes a person very uh, much into pleasantries. It's, uh, a person becomes a pleasant person, how he speaks, how he does things, and so on. Mostly, this uh, center, heart, is there. Then we come to the throat center, and this one stands for truth. Okay. So... Um, if it is very dim, if it is dormant, it's not activated, then the tendency to speak lies mm -hmm. because it's for self-expression, but it is there to be expressed through. And therefore, if it is uh, not active, then whatever is coming uh, most of the time, the tendency to be switching on lies is what goes on. But when you activate that center, then it, makes, it brings out truth. It allows truth to, express, to be expressed. Okay. You see? Then you come here. This center is for insight. Insight. That means it connects you deeper for intuition. Um, you see, the brain has the step down side and the step up side. The left side of the brain connects stepping down energies and the right side stepping up energies. And uh, this center, when it is fully activated, then uh, it initiates the step up uh, frequencies. And uh, then you can connect uh, to the higher. And then you come to the last one. The last one the that, is, that center um, is uh, a center where cosmic energy meets the energies from inside. So it is a center where you can assess 
cosmic energy. Okay. Yeah. So these are the centers in the body. Now, um, the lower center, if it is not functioning well, the, the lowest one, which is for survival, if it is not functioning well, then the red color there is very dim. You see it on a person and the red color is very dim. That person has problem with survival. That means health, very weak, is always weak, and he has very little resistance, and the immunity is very low, and so on. Then uh, the center for survival it's is very dim. Mm -hmm. It's not activated properly, see. Um, then the pleasure center, in fact, the emotions, let me connect the emotions also. You see, the downside, the lowest center, the thing which makes it become dim, that light become dim, mostly is fear. Mm. When, whenever you have fear on you, it's weakening your survival yeah. instincts. Mm. And uh, the, that energy center shrinks. Too much fear makes it shrink, and one becomes susceptible to a whole lot of uh, things uh, going against your survival on the planet. See? So most people in this generation, the center is very dim, and that is where poverty comes in. You see? Um, a prosperous person has that center vibrating, and it is the red color has expanded like this. Mm. So the wealthier the person, the brighter the red color at the base of that person. Okay. Then when we come to the pleasure center, um, if it is functioning, for most people, the youth and so on, that is a center they utilize for relationship and it always puts passion in their eyes, you know, their mind, full of passion, passion for sex, procreation and all those kind of things. But as they grow older, sometimes it may shrink. Mm -hmm. But even whilst they are young, it can shrink if they have guilt. Anytime they feel guilty of something, that center shakes and it's coming down. Its color is orange. And you see a person and the orange color here is dim. You see that that person has passed through things that um, um, he really knows is guilty of some things and they're very disturbed. So when it is like that, uh, by and by, the, the, the center, uh, it will show that a person cannot function well with their genitals and all those, I mean, uh, sex and all those things. Everything comes down. In this generation, a lot of people are having that problem, you see. And, uh, so we should desist from fear so that the, the, the base of the spine will not... Uh, Shrink. You know, shrink, and uh, for this one too, we should uh, desist from uh, uh, guilt. Guilt. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So then, when we come to the solar yeah. center, solar solar center. Yeah. The solar center, uh, the thing which weakens it is shame. 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 When a person is feeling ashamed. In fact, between guilt and shame, they, there is difference. But mm. uh, the shame, uh, the person wants to achieve something. And uh, um, a lot of people, they want to shine in the presence of others and, this, and they are not able and they feel ashamed. They wanted to portray something good and it turns bad and they are 
and uh, it, does, it doesn't go the way they want, so they are ashamed, you see. So shame weakens the solar center, so it becomes dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. And it is unfortunate if this center comes down because it is a, a backup center. When I say backup, when the other centers are weakening and this one is strong, it's press energy to them to, to revive them, you see. But if that also has gone down, and which one is going ah, to revive the, the other? Then the person becomes sickly and uh, very weak. And there are some young people, they fall into that problem and um, they, they look older at once yeah. because the solar center has gone down and the, it's not supplying energy to the other centers and, uh, um, for that matter, you know. So, then we come to the heart. Yes. Uh, when a person is grieving, you know, grief, 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 sadness and all those kind of things, morose, always morose, and so on, then your heart center will be going down. Hatred is also one of the things it weakens because it's the opposite of love. So, when the opposite of love is happening, then the center is going down. When you are very loving, then the heart center is expanding, is shining very well. So if you see somebody and uh, the, uh, the green energy here is very bright, then you see that that person is very loving, very, very loving person, you see. Then you come to the throat center. Ah. If it is, uh, I mean, if people speak lies continuously, it becomes their habit of lying, lying, lying. This center goes down, 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 down. It's not able to shine. But a person who speaks truth all the time, this center is blue color, then mm. it also shines, shines, shines. And uh, therefore, if you see a person with a blue light here shining, the person is very expressive, very, uh, it speaks the truth. You see, in all conditions, a person. Uh, Jia towards truth, you see. So lies weaken the center. Mm -hmm. Then we come to here, the insight center. Um, see, this side, the illusion of separation. Um, the higher mind within us is shared by all of us. The same higher mind in me is inside the object, it's inside you, and uh, it is really attached to spirit, so it's very expanded. Yes, but when the mind uh, comes to the objective mind where we are looking at things and hearing and limiting the mind. We call it objective mind mm -hmm. or lower mind. Uh, when we get to that state, we have illusion of separation. You see, that mind, mind is different from yours. But when it comes to the higher mind, it's, I don't have my higher mind and your higher mind. It's one it's higher mind for mm. everybody, you see. So, um, the illusion of separation, if you are functioning with the lower mind and you see him, her, me, uh, you know, the, then it's weakening the center. That is why most people, uh, that center is asleep. 
because we are functioning on separation level. And then we say it belongs to this, it be, that belongs to I, belong to this and that and that. So it weakens that center. But anybody who is uh, having deeper insight to understand that all are sharing one mind, immediately it goes beyond the illusion of separation and then you have deep insight, you see. So um, if you entertain separation ideas, then uh, you are limiting the function of the center. Mm -hmm. Most people want the center to function and at the same time they are in the grips of separation ideas. And when it's like that, this one will not open. This is a secret mm. that people don't know. They try, try, try to open the center, and at the same time, they live with the illusion of separation. That, you uh, hate your brother, uh, you hate your sister, you uh, think this you one are comes different. from this tribe, mm. this one comes from here, this one, the, I mean, or from this house and my house and this and that. Here, opening enters into higher mind, and for that matter, um, it doesn't uh, speak of differences. And you share one mind. That is the reason why when it is fully functioning, you can know the mind of your brother or mm. sister, the next person, what is speaking, because it's one mind and it's picking part of it, using part, you are also using part. So you can share information, you can even focus on a person and send him a message, him or her, and he catch it the same because it's one mind, you see. And it can take you to past, it takes you to future, future. it takes you to distant, you see. It's an expanded mind. So when you have the illusion of this small mind, mine and yours and this and that, this one will not open. Okay. When it is opening, you expand. Mind. Yeah. And the last one, the, the, the crown one. The crown. The crown one, cosmic energy is assessed, but the attachment to the lower things. You see, we should let go a whole lot. But when you are attaching to things lower, then the higher cannot be assessed. So it's attachment that is, uh, it has to be loosened. Once you loosen the attachments down, then the higher one picks up. Okay. Yeah. So attachment to lower things will not let you... Ah, it see won't let this one the, open the, out. Uh, you see, Escala is violet. So uh, if you see a person, most people in this generation, it is very dim around here, very dim. But when you meet somebody and that one is expanded like that, then you know it's assessing cosmic mm -hmm. uh, energy, higher things are flowing from the spirit, you see, yeah. Doctor, most of us, we can't see these centers. So how, how do I sense these centers? What, what is the experience like? Good, good. That's a good question. You see, if you are determined and humble, then taking you there is not, is, is not difficult. You see, but sometimes uh, we also have, uh, people are indoctrinated, so they have belief systems, and uh, these are kind of things which make it difficult for them to uh, see things okay. on that level. Um, once you let go everything, it's just like uh, you come to the point where um, you relinquish all uh, the mindset, all that you have picked from the world. You see, you drop it at a point and then the higher mind comes forward, and in this way, you begin to see things differently. When you are seeing things through the um, objective mind, then you see the differences 
uh, this person is like this, this is my enemy, this is my friend, this is this, this is that. But take the example of how the sun is shining. It doesn't uh, identify, uh, yeah. no discrimination, it just shines. So when you come to that point, that is where you can see differently. Then you see people, you can see the aura, the colors around them. That means you are seen beyond just the physical, you see. And uh, um, people can be taken to that state. But the letting go is not easy. They have been uh, attached to the lower term for so long. Uh, when you want to take people to that state, you know what? They want to get to that state so that uh, the goal they are actually looking for is something material. So this to help them get that. Okay. Mm. You see? But they are not getting the material so that it helps them get this, high. Mm. You see? So if you are getting the material so that it helps you get to the higher, then in a sense, it means the higher is your goal, but this is just a means to help you get it. Reach your goal. Mm -hmm. But it has been reversed. People want the higher so that they get the lower. So the lower is their goal. And when it is like that, um, even if you are with a teacher, um, he sees all these things. Sometimes you delay uh, how, how he can help you, you see, because the teacher doesn't want you to end up in the lower. He wants you to end up in the higher. And because when you end up in the higher, higher is so magnetic, so powerful, it pulls all the lower. You have it. But if you take the higher to achieve the lower, when you get the lower, you relinquish the higher because you've gotten your goal, you see. And uh, uh, no, no, no teacher really wants to, uh, uh, I mean, <laughs> the, in the local language, they say when you, you climb uh, a good tree, that means a tree that yields fruit, then you can be pushed. <laughs> <laughs> to, to, be a to carry you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Doctor, you just said aura. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if there is any connection between these energy centers you are talking about. And also some people use the word chakras. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us something about that? Yeah. When I'm teaching, I always try to avoid words which appear to be strange and uh, you... Quiz, you, you try to get the meaning, to get the understanding. Mm -hmm. But when you say centers, yeah, I mean, it's something, yeah, you know. Um, so it is the same thing. The same Chakras, thing. centers, energy centers. Aura. Yeah. The, no, when you say aura, it means um, the energy centers which are active, casts their light around. And that light around you is called your aura. So if, let's say, the seven centers um, uh, let's say two of them are active, then the two will blend their color for your color as your aura. But it will be weak because uh, you, you have seven centers and only two are functioning. So it will blend the color uh, for you. You can see uh, like that. But uh, when all the colors are functioning, then it casts an aura. And you know, when uh, all the colors merge, you get a whitish color. White is the blend of all colors. When you blend them, you get white. So because of that, um, uh, 
this is what has given the instinct that uh, when uh, people see the psychic side, when we say psychic side, that is the side beyond the physical, not the spirit itself, but what is beyond the physical, which is cast around you like this. Yeah, it's, a, it's your race. Yeah. Now, the psychic is internal. Yes, yes, internal, very good. Now, uh, you see that people refer to things like ghosts as whitish, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so in the night, if they see some white form or something, then they, 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 they will shout, ghost, ghost, ghost. <laughs> Uh, this reminds me of some story, but uh, we, we don't have time for that, you see. Um, some uh, some Amaria was having this white thing, night, it used to pass somewhere, and uh, overnight somebody was, he came from work late, and he was ironing at the corridor side. You know. He saw this uh, person coming wearing white all out. but. The mind t told him, this, this may be a ghost to him. He's coming in my direction. <laughs> so he got afraid. And uh, lo and behold, he, caught, he shouted, who, who, who are you? Who are you? And then the person kept coming. <laughs> he was just coming to pass. He didn't mind him. And uh, rather he thought he's, uh, it's a ghost coming to catch him. He just uh, threw the iron somewhere around <laughs> uh, The next day he was uh, talking about it and uh, some people who live ab around, they said, oh, is that not the Amaria who used to come and pass? <laughs> <laughs> so white is associated to ghosts because the aura, all the colors blend together it becomes whitish you see so it's an instinctive something within the human instinct telling us that the white means the complete form of the uh, person but it's associated to the side of the person which is not seen you see and therefore when that becomes visible then people are shaking <laughs> Yes, anyway. So, so let's say I want to activate uh, the centers. Yeah. Um, do I, is it in a hierarchy? Should I activate it from, let's say, the base of the spine, and I move to the sex center, uh, the, the, the heart? Or maybe I can activate uh, two of them, maybe from uh, my sex center, then move to maybe the third eye, or how, how do you do that? Yes. People who are not very determined and humble. It means they are functioning only at the lower side of the heart center. Heart center is the middle, and it is love. But when you haven't crossed it, you don't have the love in your uh, experience. So lower ones alone, then the person functions in such a way that uh, is dominated by some of the lower emotions, you see. So, uh, when it is like that, then we help the person to move beyond it gradually, to cross the heart. You remember uh, in our lessons, the intermediate uh, technique, changing the red to blue, you see. Of course, I know people listening don't mm. know much yes. about that. And so so you can join um, uh, John Cosmic Foundation if you, you want. You are a truly seeker. Uh, you want to awaken. Just join us. Check the links in the description box below. Yes, but if a person you meet has already crossed the heart center, is having an element of love within him, that person will be humble. That person will be determined, and for that person, you don't need to be going uh, that direction like that. Uh, okay. You approach the person from higher. 
I am, mm-hmm. you can pull the person, you can help the person and spread the energies down to the and open all the centers. Okay. Yes. So there is one energy at the base. If uh, uh, the channel is properly cleansed, even if they are not activated, and uh, there is a channel, like I said, I don't want to be using certain terms, but a channel is like a tube of light, you know, just like when you throw a torch light into the darkness, how it goes. Mm-hmm. So it is there up to the top. And if it is cleared, if cleared of negative energies, then uh, the center below um, can be generated, it can awaken fully at once. And once that is done by a technique, uh, that is what people refer to as Kundalini. If you have heard that word, heard it, Kundalini. normally I don't want to be avoiding these words. But uh, that energy at the base here, because it is rooting to Mother Earth, it has very strong base and uh, it can be made to really rise through that uh, tube of energy into the higher regions and uh, now merge with the cosmic energy and blast all over you and your field of energy all around you uh, becomes um, completed the, all the centers fully functioning and that makes wonderful fulfillment for the human. Yeah. And so we are discussing energy centers live on Jan Cosmic Foundation. I hope this is very deep. And so as I said earlier, join our lessons. Uh, you check the numbers and the links down in the description box below. And you join Jan Cosmic Foundation. If you are really seeking to awaken, definitely Dr. Jan will teach you how to do so. Doctor, do animals also have energy centers? Right, right, yes. And how yeah. many are they? And I don't know if you can explain just in a few minutes. Yeah. You see, evolution is uh, said that in the animals, the higher centers, they are not really highlighted you see so the lower side is more highlighted for the animals and by the time you are getting to human then the upper centers are now opened out you see um, in this universe you can see that humans uh, we are just assessing the solar system, okay. but there are other systems, uh, the galaxies and other systems. So the same way, uh, animals assess just uh, some parts of the whole. You see, but when you come to the human, then you have access to the whole. So even though here in this world we are in the solar system. But once you open all the centers out, then you go beyond the solar system. Then the whole universe uh, is assessed. That's why it's said that uh, what is uh, bound here on Earth, on Earth then is bound in the heavens. See? So what is loosened here is loosened. So doing it here should be our concern as humans. Um, even the scientists, uh, they miss that kind of thing and the concern is out there and they are, you know, but um, they, they get a lot of limitations and whatever they get to know, they realize ah, there is um, you can't even say 0.1 
percent. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just nothing, insignificant. You know? But if you assess it from within you, which is available right here, then uh, it connects you and then you don't even need to be looking out there for it. It connects you automatically so that you get to know what is in the universe. So you first have to um, access what is within oh, yeah. and maybe access yes. uh, the whole universe. Yes. Thank you very much, Dr. Jan. If you have um, anything before we go. Yes. Um, every situation, our health condition and so on, they are all reflected in our energy centers. So, um, the emotions should be watched carefully because um, uh, when our centers in the lower side are active and the higher ones are not active, then we have lower emotions like fear, anger, uh, anxiety, and so on. But uh, when we activate the higher ones, then it switch, it's like switching on. Uh, then from the heart, heart is love. You know, so from there you get to uh, the peace and the joy and everything. They, they all become part of your life. And uh, they cancel out the lower emotions, they neutralize the lower emotions. So when you are dominated by peace of that kind, you cannot be angry. You see, um, you cannot be afraid, you cannot be sad. So we need to be dominated by the higher um, emotions of that kind. Yes. Right, thank you once again. Yeah. All right, thank you to you also for watching. Uh, but please let's uh, uh, let's shun from attachment from this world. Uh, let's uh, you know get rid from the illusion of separation, lies, uh, sadness, hatred, uh, shame, guilt, fear, and so on. See you in another video.